In the news, you have probably heard some of the following terms recently. Vaccine, immunity, and herd immunity, in context of the current COVID-19 or coronavirus pandemic. In this video, we will be talking about what herd immunity is and how to best achieve herd immunity to the current virus pandemic. An epidemic is a localized disease outbreak. Currently, we are experiencing a pandemic, which is a worldwide disease outbreak. Immunity is a term which means that you are protected from getting a disease. In today's world, we know we can become immune or exempt from a disease through a couple of different methods. First, we can be exposed to the disease, let our body fight and hopefully conquer the disease, and then be protected in the future by our immune systems. During the process of infection, our immune system in essence learns what a specific pathogen looks like and learns how to best kill the pathogen. But we can also become immune from a disease through being vaccinated. When we are vaccinated, we are often injected with part of a pathogen or with the killed pathogen. This controlled exposure to a pathogen is designed to enable our immune systems to learn to recognize and kill a pathogen without needing to suffer the effects of being infected with the pathogen. Although, in theory, the idea of developing a vaccine is quite straightforward, in practice, it can be very difficult to design, test, and mass produce an effective vaccine. If an infected person comes into contact with susceptible people, the disease spreads quickly. However, if a large number of our community are immune to a disease through previous exposure or vaccination, the chances that the virus will find a susceptible host are decreased. Today, many people in our community are understandably very frustrated with progress against the novel coronavirus or COVID-19. Some of us know people that have been infected with the virus. Some of us know people that may have died from COVID-19. Others of us have lost jobs and income due to the impact of this virus. This new virus is affecting our economy and our lives in countless ways. Currently, scientific knowledge gained over centuries by chemists, immunologists, microbiologists, and virologists is being used in an effort to discover, produce, and distribute an effective vaccine. Humankind has never put so much effort or money into developing an effective vaccine as quickly as it is happening right now. We hope that science will be successful in making an effective vaccine as well as discovering drugs that may help treat the symptoms of the disease. So, what should we do? Some people have advocated letting the virus pass through our society, infecting everyone and then being over with it. Some people have even held virus parties, where people come together in hopes of getting infected and then being immune to the virus in the future. If we learn from the lessons of the past, we will understand that letting the virus pass through our society in hopes of it not being a problem in the future is a very bad idea. Looking to history, we see that diseases like measles, polio, and smallpox did not simply pass through our society and prevent future waves of infection. Diseases of the past killed people year after year, decade after decade, century after century. The only time to herd immunity has been successful at preventing the transmission of disease is when we have developed an effective vaccine to a disease. An effective vaccine prevents people from suffering from the disease in the first place and prevents the subsequent spread of the disease once a community is vaccinated. Most scientists agree that the outlook for an effective vaccine is good. However, there are many unanswered questions about when a vaccine may appear or how effective it will be. There is even a chance that we will never be able to develop an effective vaccine. However, there has never before been so much knowledge gained so fast about any other pathogen. The scientific tools at our disposal combined with the mass efforts of so many countries, companies, and scientists will likely yield a vaccine soon. From scientific, humanitarian, and historical perspectives, the clear choice is to continue to be vigilant in protecting ourselves and others from infection with COVID-19 as we work together towards producing an effective vaccine.